All right, so that was interesting. I stayed up way too late taking the AI specialist certification, registered for it a long time ago when it first opened up for registration and grabbed a slot for 12 midnight and just completed that and passed. So glad to share that. A few takeaways. I wanted to give you my initial impressions on the exam. This is much more challenging than the AI associate certification that came out roughly a year ago. And I was looking at the date of when I passed the AI associate certification on the day of its release, and that was September 6th of 2023. And the AI specialist, which I just attained, is in the early hours of September 9th of 2024. So Salesforce has really been ahead of the game with adopting AI into their system, into the platform, and well ahead of some of the competitors, such as AWS, who has just recently released their first AI certification. Salesforce has a year on the clock as far as now having not only one certification related to AI, but now a more advanced certification, the AI specialist. It is very advanced, and Salesforce does recognize recommend, but doesn't require that you have a few different certifications. If you notice in the exam guide, it mentions or recommends that you have AI associate as well as administrator and platform app builder. I do think that all of those certifications are very helpful because they do cover a lot of the concepts that you'll need to be familiar with in order to understand and wrap your mind around what is represented on the AI specialist certification. The way that Salesforce approaches prompt templates and just prompting in general, if you don't have much experience with generative AI and prompting, you'd want to be familiar with that because this is layered on top of Salesforce and a lot of this generative AI features. And so a few takeaways on the certification. And so on the exam, there were just 60 questions. There were no additional ungraded questions. I didn't see 65. And I believe the runtime was 90 minutes, even though it felt like a lot longer. And I did several pass-throughs. I always try to use the full allotted time rather than just powering through. Because as an online instructor, I want to remember the experience while I was on the exam. As with most Salesforce certifications that I take the time to attend, I plan on creating a course around it as well to help you do likewise. And I felt like this is the most important certification that I've seen from Salesforce in a very long time. I don't know what to even relate it to. Probably the closest would be the business analyst certification. But I think that this one has a much more profound impact because AI is permeating everything across the platform. A few days from now, we're going to be at Dreamforce and watching the unveiling of Agent Force and getting hands on there. And I've noticed as well uh, earlier tonight when I was last minute cramming for this exam, I was seeing in the online help a lot around Agent Force related to the generative AI features in Salesforce's online help. This is a stepping stone to really understanding Agent Force and how it will work as well. So very exciting time with uh, generative AI uh, coming to the platform. And then a few other things on the exam. And this was really interesting to me. I had noticed in the exam guide that it stated that the question types would be multiple choice and there was no multiple select. So that means you only have to select the one correct answer. And then also there's only three answer options, at least on the exam that I took for the AI specialist. So there wasn't an instance of having to select from four or five possible answers. It was just three, that helps a little bit. But still the passing score at the time of this recording was 73%. So it is a tall task to pass this, especially if you're just relying on the Trailhead modules, even though they're very helpful. There's a lot that goes into this that is not represented there as well. So the more that you can get hands-on experience with the prompt builder, the model builder, and then Einstein Copilot as well. And as an online instructor, I always encourage my students to learn the concepts and not fall into the trap of trivia-based learning as well. So I am really ruminating, well, I'm, truthfully, I'm going to go sleep, but then in the morning or afternoon, depending on when I wake up, my anticipation is, is to start really outlining some training around this certification because this is the most important certification that you can attain moving forward. And, you know, people out there complaining about how the Salesforce ecosystem has gotten crowded. Well, guess what? This is the certification that will set you apart. And so I'll have a lot of updates around the various trainings I'll offer around this in the coming days as well. And lead up to Dreamforce also, I'll be having a lot of updates related to my reactions at Dreamforce and Agent Force got that scheduled to get hands-on first day of Dreamforce and really excited to check that out. I actually have that scheduled before Mark Benioff's keynote. 
And so I will be reporting back my thoughts on Agent Force and very excited about the future of Salesforce. There are people out there saying crazy things like now is not the time to get into Salesforce. My question would be, well, what do you recommend then? Because the hiring has slowed down all throughout the tech sector. I see Agent Force as a game changer, and that's not just hyperbole or a cliche, but based on the actual words coming out of Mark Benioff's mouth as far as Agent Force being able to resolve 90 plus percent of large enterprise cases for the largest employers in the world. If he was just hyping that or making that up, those CEOs of those companies that they've partnered with would be raising their hands and saying, wait a minute, Mark. So I have a strong hunch that this is more than hype and that they're onto something special here with Agent Force and really one of the stepping stones to getting ready to master Agent Force and become a practitioner of Agent Force is to attain the AI specialist certification. Glad to report that I did that on day one and first time I've taken a certification this late. I don't recommend it, and especially on a Sunday night starting the week on Monday, but wanted to get this taken care of and start the week off right. So I'm very excited to be among the first to attain the certification. And if you have any questions about the certification, just drop them down below in the comments, and I'll get back with you on that as well. And I'll have more updates on the training that we'll have available on the certification on rapidreskill.com. There will be a live class coming, and then eventually an on-demand course, but definitely in the coming week or so we'll have more news on the upcoming live training on that so if you have any questions once again just send me a dm or comment down below and i'll do what i can to help you as well become an ai specialist on the salesforce platform